this guy right here is another one who we should know his name and what he has done like we know the name of Lincoln, Bush, Kennedy, you name it. Because this guy, he seems to have been big. The more I'm starting to learn about him, the more I'm starting to see his purpose. I cannot get that verse out of my head from um, Deuteronomy. Where one of the curses though upon us will be until the end times that, uh, what was it? How did it go? Um, uh, they shall be the head and you shall be the tail. Meaning before you were the head and they were the tail, but now it's been reversed, right? While their uh, socialism is upon you. You like that, YouTube? You like that? I'm going to block you because I said socialism. Socialism where the state owns, <clears throat> the state owns everything and you only have the right and the privilege to use what they allow you to use you're gonna block that because I pointed that out huh there's a picture of the dude look here he was a part of that uh was it the party there it's like the Wigamore party let me see here Greeley was born to a poor family in Amherst, New Hampshire. He was apprenticed to a printer in Vermont and went to New York City in 1831 to seek his fortune. He wrote for edited several publications and involved himself in Whig Party politics, Whig party, there taking is. a significant part in William Henry Harrison's successful 1840 presidential campaign. The Whig was it wasn't. Where these guys come from? Yeah, the Democrat Party. No surprise here, because when you see what he did, he came up. Uh, he was one of the ones of uh, the main signers of the uh, Free uh, White Person Act, which somehow, miraculously, amazing, right? The Moors were able to fit themselves under there. That title. <clears throat> hmm. Let me see here. Greeley's view of freedom was based in the desire that all should have the opportunity to better themselves. 125, according to his biographer, Eric S. Lundy, a dedicated social reformer deeply sympathetic to the treatment of poor white males slaves, free blacks, and white women. He still espoused the virtues of self-help and free enterprise. 126, Van Dusen stated, His genuine human sympathies, his moral fervor, even the exhibitionism that was a part of his makeup, made it inevitable that he should crusade for a better world. He did so with apostolic zeal. 127, I'm specifically looking for the part here where he encourages uh, whites in, <clears throat> in Kansas during the original, you know, the first breakout of the Civil War, the one they don't tell us about, where um, they finally, the Democrats led their whole, that whole rebellion over there. And when they were done, they went back to Congress and told all of those of uh, Mellon and you to get out, to abandon their seats and stuff like that, or they were going to be killed. You know, um, he encourages those that are... Uh, of Anglo descent to uh, call themselves white, which we know then out of that creeps out your uh, Klansmen, right? And the Democrats go around terrorizing everybody into uh, becoming what Republican, right? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the part where he encourages that they take on that I identity because I'm still convinced that white is the same as. The, uh, it's the same as a uh, blameless Ethiopian. That's what comes to my mind every time I think of white. I think of that title uh, of where, where uh, the blameless Ethiopian and how you try to take an e this blameless Ethiopian. I'm not saying we are Ethiopians, but I'm saying at the time, Ethiopian was thrown upon our people as a catch-all, right? You, know, you read about the Indians in Connecticut 
And if they don't specify, you'll time, see at times they you know, said these Indians look like Ethiopians. The Salem witch trials, right? We've seen that, uh, you know, was it Samuel C. Well, one of the things he spoke about was he didn't believe in the mistreatment of the uh, children of Adam, right? And, and he called them Ethiopians. Uh, you know, the other example was what, page 77 of Hernando de Soto and the conquest and the discovery of Florida, where he said that the people he's seen there had the complexion of that of the Ethiopians. You know, I'm not saying we are the Ethiopians, but excuse me, wow. <clears throat> you know, you even have a whole, you know, uh, a, a, a whole thing about that. Uh, what was it? There's two Ethiopians at one time. One is the land that we call China, the other one is in West Africa, or Africa, not West Africa, East Africa, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. I'm just, I feel like that's what white is. When I think of white, and, and it goes back to the Malcolm X, right? When he was, just like in the movie, when he was reading the definitions, you know, of what white was supposed to be and then what black was supposed to be. To me, that's how, that's the image that just stuck with me from ever since then. Is that when they say white, or when I think white, I think of blameless Ethiopia. When you went to court, it was at the point where they went to court, right? And yet you're trying to convince that this person was a bad person. You got to find, you know, a handful of people to prove that this Ethiopian, you know, is, is, he doesn't live his life right. And he doesn't live his life like Daniel from, from you know, from the Bible uh, or something to that effect. Uh, and I just think about, you know, <clears throat> that's what you were supposed to be doing, you know, here. Is living like a blameless Ethiopian, living white like that. I don't think of that as a color, I guess. That's just how I think about it. But I thought this guy here is interesting. I can leave some stuff in the description box um, of where I first caught a hold of his name. Uh, I cannot share it their videos because it's got a copyright on there and they even tell you that the work that they did was even copyrighted and they had to you know do a little bit of editing to it so anyways i uh hope this puts us down the path to getting to the bottom of him i'm gonna still keep looking because i want to find where he uh you know is encouraging them to uh claim white you know in my mind fulfilling deuteronomy 28 a portion of it